My name is Ed Hanzarek. I'm a teaching professional in Nova Scotia, Canada, and a proud member of the PGA of America as well as the Canadian PGA. Today I would like to talk about a training aid and a drill that was not invented by me, although I modified it a little bit, but uh, invented by one of the greatest teachers of all time, Harvey Pennock. Harvey Pennock wrote this great little book, his little red book, which was notes that he took during a lesson or after, and uh, it's a bestseller best and a high, highly recommended read. But Mr. Pennock talked about a drill that he did with a bucket, and I'll call it Harvey's Bucket. And he would get people on the tee to swing this bucket, which is full of water, back and forth, and it gives you a beautiful sense of starting the swing, which is not jerky, or you'd be spilling water all over the place, but just a little tiny, get a wave going to the left, swing it back to the right, and through to the left. And it's an awesome little drill, but it's not quite 100% the golf swing. And I'd like to show you uh, my modification on Harvey's bucket and how I think it can help your game. So as great as Harvey's bucket is to feel good rhythm and good tempo and a good takeaway, it doesn't quite incorporate forearm rotation. So you'd end up swinging like this and not on plane unless you added something to Harvey's bucket. And what I'd like to add is a little bit of spillage. If you take Harvey's bucket and take it back and let the water spill out back here a little bit and then catch it up here and turn it through, you've got a beautiful feeling of combing your mullet, one of my earlier videos. Or you could swing sort of one plane and spill it going back, catch it here, and spill it going through. If you want to hit a fade, that's still something from uh, an article I saw Chuck Cook do. If you want to hit a fade, you spill the water completely behind you. If you want to hit a draw, you spill the water in front of you. Harvey's Bucket, free at any Home Depot.